Dang, say dang. All right, Chris, you've been wanting to try to make me watch a, a movie trailer here. Rob Zombies the Monsters. Oh, yeah, hold on. Hold on. You right, listen, have been listen, twisting my arm for the past three days to see this. Listen, okay, for all of you out there who's listening, whoever's listening, listen. If you have seen the Monsters trailer, the Rob Zombie Monsters trailer, you know how bad it is. I've been begging my brother to watch this trailer, hoping that he would hate on it. Well, guess what? He loves it. Spoiler alert. Now, I'm not saying I love it. Now, hold on You there. laughed at it. It was pull, like, this is good. Pull that over to the side of the pretentious turnpike there, pal. Let me explain oh, a little something. Okay. Something. I'm an Adams Family guy, okay? Okay, there's okay. nothing wrong with that. As, uh, shut up. <laughs> now, the Beloved and I st stood here and watched this trailer with Chris just before we went to record this session. The Beloved is a Monsters fan. I am an Adams Family guy, Okay. And she wanted to she wanted to know why I, why I hated on the monsters so much, and and I explained, the Adams family is like a a fine camembert. It's like an extra sharp cheddar that just bites you back, you know. The monsters is cheese whiz. Although she did have a good point, there is a time and place for cheese whiz because I ain't dipping my nacho chips in the camembert. So, having said that. <laughs> Rob Zombies, mm. the monsters. And what kind of budget did you say this had, Chris? I think they gave it forty. Forty million dollars. Now we had a discussion last week when it came to these studios, Universal Studios. They have a bunch of grips. They have a bunch of cameramen. They have a bunch of production people. This huge crew. What usually counts as crew on a movie. It's the same guy. Usually the same guys. For most for the most part for every film they produce because. They're on the studio salary. Yes. This way the producer doesn't have to sit here and call all these people together because you're talking about finding like one or two thousand people to work on a movie and that's how many credits are in a modern movie. It's roughly somewhere between eight and eight hundred and a thousand. You when you do, when you use them, these people who work for the studio in a production, the cost of their salary gets applied to your budget. So your movie's budget pays for those salaries. <clears throat> so if Rob Zombie got a $40 million budget for this, at least a good, anywhere between a third and half of it went to cover the cost of all these people involved at the at the studio. Okay, okay. okay. And to use their lots, and to use their uh, prop departments, and to use all their resources and stuff, they have to, the production has to pay the studio for that. Okay, but... But, 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 but. Why does the trailer look like they did it all on a school play stage with probably, uh, 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 the crew was probably like 20 people working on this movie and those 20 was also half of the cast. <laughs> like, that's what it looked like to me. All right. It looked like that even the cast members like, okay, we're going to paint this wall. And then act as well. So their crew and acting. The whole movie looks like it was done on a stage. Like it was just gr horrible green screen. Uh, special effects you can do on a on an old computer. Like it was, I mean, it was horrible. It was <laughs> horrible. It, listen, sometimes, and anybody who knows the MST3K mantra can tell you this. Things can get so bad, it actually circles the planet and comes back around to good, okay? It's so <laughs> bad. See. It's like birdemic level bad. It's exactly. like Plan 9 from Outer Space bad. It's super bad, it but it's bad. so super <laughs> bad that you can't take your eyes away from it. This uh, is what Mystery Science Theater 3000 is based on. It's what Rift Tracks is based on. They both, at those two production companies actually make livings making fun of these movies. So, and yeah, and they're probably sitting there going like, finally something new we can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there will always be bad movies, Chris. But, but the thing is, uh, I have, <laughs> I have one name I'll throw out there. And I'm not saying he's there. 
I'm not saying that he's attached to this or anything. Okay. But I'm going to throw one name out there that would completely change your mind. But before I give you that, I will say the Beloved is a Munsters fan. Okay? She's actually looking forward to this because she's also an MST3K fan. Yeah. And she does, she agrees with me. It looks so bad, it's going to be great. So yes. just to sit there and poke fun at it through the whole thing. And I don't know who in the world is playing Grandpa Munster. I can't think of his name right now. I saw it. I don't care. He's the one. He absolutely nails that character, even with the stupid mustache. Yeah, he's wearing a stupid curly mustache in this thing. But he just nails the character of Grandpa. I don't want anything to do with Herman Munster. And in the, as soon as he said that, I was like, Chris. And anyway, <laughs> the, the thing is, this looks so bad. You want you you it's it's that traffic wreck syndrome, okay? Traffic wreck syndrome. It's so horrifying, so terrible, but you just cannot look away. Now, I'm gonna throw a name out there and I wanna see your visceral reaction to it. I want your honest reaction. If and I'm not saying he is, if Rob Zombie managed to get Bruce Campbell in this film. Now, tell me, tell me this. Rob Zombie, we know the movie. We know he remade Halloween. We know he did all these other, what is it, House of a Thousand Corpses or Bride of a yeah, Thousand yeah, Corpses. Yeah, yeah. All He's done all these schlock horror gore movies and stuff. This is his PG effort. This is the first PG film Rob Zombie's ever made, as far as I'm aware. I'm going to ask you this. If he could talk Bruce Campbell into doing it, what is the difference between the cheapy, cheapy stuff like Sam Raimi used to make and this cheapy, cheapy version that Rob Zombie is making? Look, I see what you're saying, but let me tell you something, okay? He already has uh, Mr. Garcia from Lost in this movie. Yeah, Jorge Garcia is a big part here. Elvira is also supposed to make She's an appearance also a in this part, movie. Yes. And I can't remember his name, but he does the late night uh, spooky movie thing. Uh, oh, I can't remember his name. That's mm -hmm. no, Fangouli. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's supposed to make an appearance in this movie. And, that, and even though I love them all, I still don't know if I want to watch this movie. The Beloved and I will be going to see this movie when it comes out in September, I believe. If it gets so, goes to the theater, I don't know. We will see this movie by hook or by crook. We are guaranteed. So, for all of you who are hating on the Munsters movie, mission accomplished. You've got two suicide bombers ready to go in. <laughs> so, just looking at the trailer, Chris... The Rob Zombie's The Munsters give a preliminary score based only on the trailer now. Five Saturday night, zero not on a bet. Where would you put it on the on the range? Oh, geekiness. Look, 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 look. When I heard that Rob Zombie was doing the Munsters, I was like, okay, one, yay, they're doing a Munsters movie. Second, I was worried because Rob Zombie does his gory, horror type of films. So I was like, is that what he's going to do with this? He's going to turn it into a horror movie? I didn't want that. But now I wish he did. <laughs> I'm giving this a zero. Not on a bit. I'm giving this a five because, by golly, the beloved and I are going to be there. We, <laughs> we, are, we, have, we are going to be at the 10th Frame Cinema the Saturday that this comes out, and we are going to be sitting down with popcorn. We're going to have the Junior Mints. We're going to have the... The, the drinks and everything, and we are just going to sit there, and we are going to camp through the whole movie. Okay, 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 okay. And you are not invited. No, Ooh. no, 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 Ooh. no, no, no. You know what? Mr. I'll, Sassy Pants. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> I'll go because maybe you're right. Maybe just sitting down, laughing at how horrible this movie is, would probably be the best time of my there's life, a, which there's is so a sad. time. There's a time and a place for everything, Christopher. It's either this or watching Return of the Swamp Thing on Rift Tracks. I'm probably going to do both. <laughs>